Hello, professors. My name is Thad, and I'm here from SASE to welcome you back to Stony Brook for the fall 2021 semester. And as part of returning to campus for this semester, I want to introduce you to some updates that we have to our system here that we hope will help you and your students streamline things. Uh, on our student end, we are introducing some new web features to help them request their accommodations earlier and with more ease. And you're not gonna see these on your end. It doesn't change how you uh, interact with those students or how their accommodations are set up. We still request documentation. We still uh, talk with them before uh, their initial accommodations are approved. And if anything ever changed, they still come back to us and we will still uh, meet with them to help set things. We're still also here if you or your students have any questions. But along with these updates for students, we have started to implement some updates to assist our instructors. And in the past, one of the biggest concerns we've encountered from uh, our faculty here at Stony Brook is how to keep track of the accommodation letters for your students. And this obviously comes from instructors being very concerned about helping their students succeed. So we uh, really applaud that concern. In the past, we've periodically been sending out reminders. And for faculty, this can be helpful, but it's not optimal because it requires uh, sort of a wait for us to update that information and it may not be as instantaneous or uh, timely as professors might sometimes need. And so we've created with our vendors a web accessible portal to see your accommodation letters. And there's two ways you're gonna be able to see this. And I'm gonna show you both of them uh, through this video to help you access that information. And I'm gonna move over to another screen. And this is a copy of an email that you might get for an accommodation letter. Now, we're still updating the system. So you may, for some students, still see the old format where you have the attached letter. But what we're moving towards are letters like this. And this is for a fictional student uh, because we're not, uh, going to include a real student here uh, for obvious privacy reasons. But uh, this is for a student named Test Marion. It says here 28T. Normally when you get this letter, that'll have a full student ID number to help you identify the student. Uh, the text of this email is the same as the old emails you would have seen from us. Uh, and when you get one, you can review the text. But what I want to really show you is this link embedded in this email about Mary Test's uh, accommodation letters. And what you can do is click here and it will bring you to a website that looks like this and it includes uh, Mary's accommodations in a link. And so you can digitally access this anytime uh, by clicking review PDF letter, slow at times. Uh, but it will then bring up a PDF of the accommodation letter. I'm going to share that screen because I'm sure you cannot see it right now. But it will show you the accommodation letter sent to you as an instructor uh, for that individual student outlining her classroom and testing accommodations, just like you would have seen in the past. Once you have reviewed that, I'm going to come back over to the accommodation letters page, you can click, I acknowledge I've received it and submit. And all that note does is let us know that you've seen it. The other helpful screen I wanna show you though, that you will probably find useful throughout the semester is if once you have logged in here and we'll send you a direct link to this page and you'll just have to log in with your Stony Brook net ID and password, just like you would for your email. And click accommodation letter. 
And up here on top, it will let you select the semester. So uh, you can click, for example, this semester is the fall session. And it will show each of your classes here. There's a, a fictional class, SASC 101, section 05. And you can click view letter, and it will bring you back here. You can also click on top courses. And this is the one I find very useful and exciting uh, is that you can then see the entire list of your class here. You can click on accommodation letters and it will show you a list of those students and you can choose to see their letters. But this is where we have, of course, seen many professors uh, request help is getting the list of their students. You can do this up to date anytime you need to through this web portal. And the link to access this will accompany the email with this video. Or if you ever need it, you can email us and we'll be happy to send it to you. Now, I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions on these letters, accessing this new site, uh, providing accommodations for your students, please feel free to reach out to us. As always, our number, uh, and it is shown here on this page as well, is 631-632-6748, or you can email us at sasc at stonybrook.edu. We hope you have a really good semester, and we look forward to working with you as we help provide access to the students of Stony Brook University. Mm -hmm.